What is up guys, don't forget to subscribe, check out my channel playlist for individual tutorials on logic, sculpting, animation, music, and more. So how do you make your music sound come out of the controller? It may need to be in the sound, like you may need to change your music to sound, and then pretty much go to pan and click controller. That's pretty much how it seems like you need to do it. Um, You may need to change it down here to sound effect, and once or whatever you're gonna do it with. You might be able to do it with a timeline also, and then pretty much connect it to the power or however you want the sound to play. You want that signal to connect to the power, so if you press the X button, it connects to the power, or if you're in a trigger zone, it connects to the power. That's pretty much how you do it. Then the character walks into the trigger zone, and pretty much it plays. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys something else because I wanna make sure you guys are informed about a whole bunch of things. So. If you were to do voice acting, you'd want to turn on EQ. So what essentially EQ, it just played through my controller. That's funny. It's because it's on a remote, so it plays no matter what. So what EQ is doing is pretty much, let's say you have a low pitch voice and let's say you have a high pitch voice over here. You turn it down to take that away. So like if you have a low pitch voice, you want to turn this down. If you have a high pitch voice, so your voice sounds tinny, like you're talking into a can, you want to turn these down and mess around with it until it sounds natural, as natural as possible. Or if you're going for a certain type of sound, feel free to mess around with it. So like, let's say the atmosphere or your character is talking into a can, you might want it to sound tinny, you might want to turn it up. It also depends on what kind of microphone you're using, because microphones also have built-in frequencies depending on what kind of microphone. Now, if you're doing voice acting, I recommend a compressor microphone, a compressor microphone. Now you don't need a super expensive one, you just need um, a compressor microphone that works for what you're trying to do and works for the console or works for your computer. And pretty much, again, just turn down the lows. Um, this is the mids, if you have a mid voice, just turn it down until it sounds natural. And that's pretty much how you can do it. Um, this right here should help out your sound and whatnot also. Let's see here. Is there something else that I can teach you guys? There's panning and then there's 3D panning. So was I in 3D panning? No, I'm just in panning. So 3D panning is essentially you can hit every spot and make the sound come from that. So instead of just the sound coming from the radius of the headphones or speakers or subwoofers, you can change all that down here. So 3D panning can hit like any spot, I think. I think this can hit most spots too, but um, it's just not 3D to where you can directly tell what spot it's hitting like you can't go behind it if that makes sense it's all in the front but 3d can go in the back even too i do believe this changes your pitch this is the volume these are the effect types Let's see if the instrument makes it to where you can still use a controller seems like you can still use a controller And that is essentially what you do. You just want to make it to where whenever it powers on, it does that. You can keep it on sustain or you can have it on loop. You just want to make it to where the whole sound plays and you might be able to use a timeline also combined with your music. Timeline's right here. Just put the music in there and then have it power on and set the timeline to these settings or the settings that you need. And I have how to make enemies, how to sculpt, how to make bosses. If you need help with that, just go to my channel playlist. And this is pretty much how you do it. Um, a compressor makes it to where everything is level. So let's say your voice vocals were like this on one side, how the imp is moving, the sound waves are like this. And then on the other side, it's like really loud. This right here will try to even it out depending on what's lower and what's higher, what makes it louder and what makes it a lower voice, you might want to mess around with it to see how this VST, that's how it be, what it'd be called in um, 
computer programs or DAWs, that's what it would be called. A VST plugin. There's other types of plugins also. And you can connect this to stuff also if you don't want music to play while you know your music is playing. You can connect uh, probably a NOT gate to cancel out signals or use a variable in keyframe. Use a keyframe connected to the bottom of the keyframe to where that keyframe then powers off the other sounds. This right here is your sound channel. It's pretty much a way you can easily mix and master. Mix and mastering is even more important than EQ because that's pretty much how you'll make everything sound correct. So in order to mix and master, you can go into sound mode. You might be able to go into your gadgets also and then just click on mix and master. And this is pretty much how you can turn everything up and everything down. So if you have vocals, you turn it down right here and if you have uh, or you turn it up and you're pretty much essentially trying to if you had a DAW or a digital audio workspace or work engine something like that uh, you'd only you'd want it to hit the green and not in the red because the red means it's clipping it's hard to tell within dreams whenever things are clipping though um, so you're trying to make it to where everything sounds essentially crisp and this is how you make things sound crisp by turning it down and making things the right, the right volume, the right level of volume. And then there's different types of channels that you can set it to. You could probably also use keyframes here to change the channel type. And then you can also mess with the volume here. There's other ways to mess with the volume also as in turn down things, essentially you can mess with it by just looking through here and just messing with it, I guess, but this is the main way you would do that. So this is how you can make good volume crisp, uh, the right levels in Dreams PS4, and you can check out my how to, you know, how to import audio video also if you need that. Make sure that the audio you import, you have the rights to import. It's your boy Young Text. I hope you enjoyed. And check out my game Linger on the Dreamverse. Check out my artwork on the Dreamverse. And this right here is essentially my title screen. I'll show you the title screen that I made. I'm also working on Polybius Story Mode. And this is all coming from the control, well not all of it, but this ring sound is. So there we go, that's how you do all of it. Hope this helps, and stay tuned for my Sonic game also and more other games like Polybius and just check out Linger. If you want to check out my work, subscribe, hit the bell for Dreams content. And I hope you guys enjoy the channel. If you want me to play your game, test your game in a stream, feel free to come to the stream. Or if you want me to hear your music or see your animation or see your artwork, I will in the streams. Or I can showcase it on my channel if you ask in the comment section. If you have any confusing, uh, if you're confused about anything, just ask me in the comment section also. Peace out, guys. I hope this helps you do sounds through your controller.